Hey, what's crack a lack on YouTube? It's your boy Andrew coming at you guys with another Photoshop tutorial. And in today's Photoshop tutorial, we are going to be recreating the all famous Supreme logo. Without further ado, we're going to hop in Photoshop. I'm going to give you guys kind of rough dimensions and stuff. We're going to go over color codes and what actual font they use and how they put it together in Photoshop. So let's hop on over to Photoshop. So right here in Photoshop, I do have a blank canvas with a nice little gradient at the top, making kind of a lighting effect. And then what I also went ahead and did was I file and nude another project, and I went 800 to about 250 pixels. Now this is just rough dimensions on what a box on a Supreme logo shirt would basically be the size of. So that's what they would be. I'm gonna hit OK. And then from here, I went and uh, held down on the gradient tool and picked the paint bucket. And the color coding for the actual Supreme logo, if you take a Supreme logo and you bring it into Photoshop and you color code it, it's actually going to be FE40. So that can be found right here, guys. So if you just type in that into your guys' Photoshop, um, it will generate that color as well. So I'm gonna hit okay. And then I just went ahead and I just splashed the background. From there, I went ahead and I picked up my selection tool and actually just dragged this right on over to my project. So I just dropped like that and I called this basic box. So from there, I went ahead and held down my command key and I clicked on the background and I came on up here to my center tools and I aligned it vertically and horizontally. From there, I went ahead and I actually sampled what um, font is actually on the Supreme. And it's actually a really nice font called Futura. Now, if you guys want to check it out, it is a little pricey, I'm not going to lie. Um, I actually have the, the whole file. So if you guys want to go check it out, I will put a link in the description for it. I'm not going to lie to you, it is about 35 bucks. So go ahead and buy it if you want. I'm not sure, but... I can also look up like kind of a free font that might be close to it. Um, that'll also be in the description below too. So check it out in the links. Um, it'll all be within the video files. So yeah, guys. Um, from here, I just went ahead and typed in Supreme. Now it's not all lowercase or uppercase. Um, it's uh, just spelled correctly. So one uppercase letter and then Supreme. I then went ahead and Command A, and I changed the color from obviously the red. To just a white now the white that i use is just the fffff um it's the one that's all the way up in the top left so can't can't go wrong with it and then went ahead and laid that down and then i made sure that there was a couple things that were going on so uh, make sure that your text right up here is at 100 percent. you don't want that to be any um, more spaced out or anything like that and then i think i made this to about like 160 um yeah i'm pretty sure it was 160. And then I took this and I turned it from the Futura um, regular and go down to the bold oblique. And now what you can do is you can just put this in the center of this box. And then what I did is I zoomed in on it, selected my text, and made the spacing at 100. Um, and if you guys don't know what I just did right there I selected the text and I went in here and I changed this to zero so this should not be anything this should be a zero and yeah guys from there I think I remapped it to be 160 right there I then held down my command key selected the box centered it up and bada boom bada bing guys you guys have your guys' own Supreme logos. So then, if you combine these and group them together, you can then make this logo however big you want. I'm gonna make mine right there. Center it up with my background. And go to blending options, throw a little backdrop on it. Maybe uh, 20 by 30. Cool. And yeah, guys, that's how I did it. So if you guys did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate you guys commenting down below what you guys think. And if you guys have any other recommendations that you guys would see, um, I would love to. Uh, I would love to do them. So yeah, guys, I'm Andrew from Posh Designs, and I'm signing out. Later. <laughs>